Hello, all my Aries friends. Welcome to your April 1st through 15th reading for 2020. Many blessings to you all. This is a collective reading for all Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. That means if you'd like a private reading with your personal energy, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. Now, let's see what we've got going on, Aries. No dilly-dallying. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light. Divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Aries, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek, to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for your divine guidance as well, and welcome this beautiful, blessed reading. Thank you for this blessing. Okay. We're going to start off in the Garden of Eden. Very strong energy of re realizing and affirming that your universe is providing for you. This is the beautiful energy of receiving the abundance by virtue of belief. Having your belief be bigger than your doubt. So, love that energy. That's a great first card. Uh, we have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Fool, and we have the Hierophant. So this is a true statement. <laughs> There's a lot of new things beginning here for many, many of you. There it is again, uh, the Knight of Wands. Very fast-moving energy moving towards you. Household harmony and happily ever after energy with the Queen of Pentacles, meaning you're financially stable. And abundant we have the star card soul's desire being granted here in the career and financial area we have the king of cups which means a genuine offer authentic offer and we have the five of swords don't don't rush to a conclusion or don't give up too soon okay definitely the universe extending the offering of something new coming in. Uh, you see how he's not really leaning into the cup though? This is when you don't think it's your thing. You, you just kind of look at it like, yeah, um, that doesn't look like what I thought it would. Listen, you've got to be open-minded. The universe can bring things in that are in completely different ideas of what we thought it would be, but nonetheless, it is your blessing. So don't turn away the offer without looking at it very closely because sometimes what our idea is of something that should happen is only one little tiny drop in the bucket where the universe can offer something a lot better. That is the Holy Grail coming in. So uh, you want to take that cup. Here we have the Nine of Pentacles, which is the Garden of Eden, and the promise that the universe will continue to provide as long as you're in the place of believing it's providing. So when, you're, when your belief is stronger than your, than your doubt or your fear, that's when you tip the scale and start to manifest. This Page of Pentacles is the offer of financial abundance or financial guarantee. So someone offering you a job or, or a certain amount of money for something. And we have the Fool. And the Fool is the energy of a new beginning. The Fool is the zero in the major arcana. The Fool is the story of tarot. Uh, it's, the, it's the whole process of tarot. And the Fool is it's the Fool's journey. That's what all these other cards are all about. So when this Fool starts off, he's in that transition moment coming from a, from a standstill into something new. So as the momentum of him, him doing all of this juggling and balancing, it starts to carry you into the next cycle. So you're ending one phase and moving into the next simultaneously. So it's a perfect seamless transition, which means you won't lose any, uh, I say you won't miss a paycheck. This is having that easy moving transition that you just begin and it feels natural. It definitely has to do with the job for many, many, many of you because that Hierophant is the beautiful energy of being asked to come into an organization. Uh, they're welcoming you. They're giving you permission or granting you admittance. Now, it can be uh, an actual 
company, it can be a hospital, it can be a school system, it can be um, anything government oriented. It's that kind of big functioning conglomerate energy. So we receive that. Not a bad start, Aries. Now we have the Knight of Wands, which means it's time for action or action is, is upon you, okay? So it's, it's either pursuing you or it's coming to tell you, come on, let's go. It's time to get moving. So we have the Ten of Cups. This is the happily ever after. This means household harmony. You feel better about everything. Uh, everybody starts to get to move around and feel like they're not uh, trapped in the house anymore. And we have the Queen of Pentacles, which is financial stability. So this is security and feeling very much protected because this is the solid pillar of gold and it's holding. Sorry, I get the energy transition. <laughs> it's a reverse hiccup. So uh, this is the energy of, it's, it's so heavy and so thick that it, it can hold a big load. So it's literally keeping the roof stable and keeping you grounded and money in hand. So very good energy regarding finances. Now, star card. We have the beautiful soul's desire being granted. This is also a spiritual activation or awakening. It's the Aquarius Major Arcana. Beautiful energy here of something being just kind of opening up to you. So uh, your soul's desire is being told yes. So whatever your soul purpose is here, uh, the job may have something to do with your the whole mission that you've come to this uh, particular plane of existence for. This is a beautiful, beautiful energy. It is the, the Aquarius Major Arcana, and you've got the Taurus Major Arcana with that um, Hierophant, if that matters to anybody. Now we have the King of Cups, and the King of Cups is a genuine heartfelt offer. So it is a company that is legitimate. They are trying to uh, help as many people as they can. They really do care about their employees. Um, and you've got the Five of Swords here, which is telling you, you may feel battle-weary uh, and just kind of overwhelmed by everything. Don't let that make you pessimistic about the job, okay? That may be why you're having this moment here. Um, it's not time to surrender because you're, you don't want to quit five minutes before your miracle. So don't jump the gun and, and back out, okay? So, let's see what the clarifiers have to say. Aries, thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Aries, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light they are intended. We thank you for your divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessing. Thank you for this reading. Ooh, yay, the sun. We love the sun card. Very beautiful, happiest card in tarot. Uh, the eight of rods, very fast-moving energy, lots of new opportunities. The page of cups universe being assistful here bringing you what you need and the knight of swords very fast communication there's that four of cups again it's really trying to tell you do not ignore it there's the queen of cups and the knight of pentacles on top of the queen of a, the queen of pentacles so now we have the hanged man the Six of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. Your underlier is the King of Swords, Archangel Michael. This is a beautiful energy of, and it can be an air sign, uh, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini, or and or the Archangel Michael, who is a protector and an obstacle remover. Um, this energy is very strong in all people who've taken an oath to serve and protect. That would mean doctors, nurses, lawyers, judges, criminal justice, law enforcement, anyone who is in uh, armed services or has been in armed services, 
and anyone who is very analytically minded which would be architect engineer and scientist so that's the human side of this energy but as the Archangel Michael it's pretty special too because this is great energy to help you through any difficulty don't forget you have to kind of give them permission to assist you because you have free will so you have to make the declaration that they have permission to intervene on your behalf any archangel here we have that beautiful energy of the Garden of Eden being taken care of being prospered being brought to a place of receiving what you need exactly the exactly the right amount exactly the right time every single time and is it ever answering that for you so you have the Sun card which is a new beginning you have the soul which stands this is your spirit horse here the white horse stands for spirit the baby is the new beginning whatever it might be whether it's home life work life uh, new idea new project and the Sun which is here to con continuously sustain the new beginning so that is exactly what this Garden of Eden card is talking about is continuously being brought to the place that you need to be and whatever you need to be given immediately now we have the page of Pentacles so this is somebody trying to make a financial commitment that offering you a certain amount of pay then we have the eight of rods which is maybe more than one opportunity coming to give you this beautiful abundance and it can mean just communication with uh, getting your business going back to get you know getting everything going people communicating with you we have the fool which is releasing one thing and stepping right into the next just naturally without missing a beat just smooth sailing so we like that energy it's the cycle of life we're we're turning the cycle and starting the next thing and again the universe is saying I will provide this is the beautiful energy of the fish being provided saying you will be fed and this is the beautiful wave of abundance that is continuously moving towards you and helping to move you forward then we have the Hierophant which is being accepted into an organization and the Knight of Swords which means they're going to reach out like it may even be out of the blue okay it can be the old job you had or another place so that's very fast moving energy with that Knight of Swords he's on a horse and he's the air sign so it's like gonna just call you out of the blue we have the Knight of Wands which is saying it's time to take action which means stop ignoring the cup and take the cup <laughs> the four of cups we have the ten of cups which is happy 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 energy household energy is harmon harmonious and loving uh, there you, we all know that when we have money to pay the bills and everything's going good on that end it seems a lot easier to get along with everybody in the house we have the queen of cups so she's lamenting over something that's happened okay feeling let's be having a pity party let's just call it what it is we don't want to get stuck in that this looks like the same kind of energy it's, he's staring at, off into the at the ground and missing the cup and she's taking up a cup that's full of past hurts and and sadness so we don't want to do that we want to take the cup of the new here and and move forward if you can do that you'll bring yourself to a very good solid place financially um, and safety and another big movement of the universe allotting this money to you this is the courier so now not only is the offer here but now it's set in motion with the courier bringing it to you it's going to be delivered just like Amazon right <laughs> so we have the star card now which is a spiritual enlightenment a shift in your in your um, ability to connect to source and it can mean a spiritual ascension and or upgrade it's definitely part of your mission here in this lifetime you've got the hanged man which is saying take a different perspective look at things from a different angle allow yourself to look at the whole picture not just one little portion 
This is, this is getting that long view. Remember, this is a marathon, not a sprint. So we have the King of Cups, which is a real true offer. Okay, somebody really, really in a good place and, and it's a good job. It's a good place to work. And this seconds that because you've got the Six of Cups, which means it feels like they're family, even if they're not your actual family. This is soul family. Then we have the Five of Swords where you're feeling like, oh God, I don't know. I don't know what to do about all this. Some of it's going to have a little something. Some people are going to have a little hitch about child care and, and am I going to be able to, you know, work from home? How do I do this? How, you know, there's going to be some, some drama here. And this is where you get into the mood of, well, oh God, what can I do to make this go faster? I, I, I just want this to be done. I want this, I want to secure this so that I, that I don't have to worry about it anymore. Well, listen, it's not going to happen on your timing. It's going to happen on the, on the universe's timing because there's things to be worked out, but it is happening. There, there is something working in the background. It's just not time for you to see the whole picture yet. You just have to remain open and positive and receive that the universe is providing. You have to have, make this, this declaration. The universe provides for me continuously. It conspires in my favor continuously. And I receive abundance from sources known and unknown. Okay? And just keep saying that. Keep yourself positive. Don't let yourself get into a state over this because it is actually going to work out. So, you've got to be able to receive the blessing though. Many blessings to you all, my Aries friends. Have a wonderful first half of May. Love, light, and abundance and healing to you all. I'll see you again in the middle of May. Namaste.